Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live, your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Looking for something to do at noon besides eat? Hey, watch <laughs> this show today. We've got a great show lined up and Ooh. some fun stuff. Hey, the pet of the day is here. You they hear? are. Yeah, he just wanted his own little t TV <laughs> debut. It should be another interesting interview with Kathy. You Kathy. got that right. We'll see. We do have a lot of great stuff coming up on today's show, but first, let's check out our weather. It is a cute one, guys. I was playing with the dog before uh, we hit air. Hey, right now, Merle's Inlet looking nice. We still have a few high thin clouds out there. Not terrible. Temperatures are in the 60s, the exception, the Grand Strand coastline in the upper 50s. But we're going to continue to warm up as we move into the afternoon. Why this ridge of high pressure is doing two things. It's going to warm us up and kind of clear those clouds out this afternoon. It's also going to keep all that rain you see down there at the Gulf Coast to our south. Without this high, more than likely that rain would be coming up to the Carolinas. So thankfully, we're going to be keeping our mostly sunny skies going. We really rocked the forecast this morning. Temperatures kind of verified there. So from here on out, I'm feeling pretty confident with us staying in the low to mid 60s at the coastline. And for inland locations, we're talking the mid and potentially a few locations, Hartsville, uh, potentially reaching the upper 60s, especially maybe even Florence and Darlington County seeing several locations in the upper 60s as well before those temperatures begin to drop back down into the 50s after sunset. Then we deal with the rain chances. Yeah, we go from no rain chances to scattered activity on our Wednesday and our Thursday. Widely scattered to isolated activity heading into this weekend, meaning we can't rule out an isolated shower or storm here and there, but more than likely it'll stay dry. Then, yeah, yikes. Yeah, look at that. Very likely below average across the lower 40 half, uh, 48 here. This is going to be winter's last stand, more than likely. March coming in with a ru uh, rumble, a roar, if you will, very much like a lion. And we're even talking Florida going below average. So even those in the Sunshine State unable to uh, kind of find shelter from Arctic's big blast here. Keep in mind on that timestamp, this is from March 1st to March 7th. So that first full week of March, more than likely we'll get a minor cold spell into the second week of March as well. But we are really going from above average this week to nearly 10 to 13 degrees below average. That would put us with highs in the upper 40s for that first week of March. And that's at the beach. If you're inland, we're talking 16, maybe even 17 degrees below average heading in to next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, continuing into next weekend. The question there is, will we see winter precip? Probably not. The pattern does support it at times, but I still think we'll be too warm. We'll just be below average. Keep in mind, average this time of the year, 60 to 62. So below average doesn't mean freezing. It just means below those values. You hear that? I heard it. A little bit warmer. A little cooler. I, I, I like the warmer part that you're talking yeah. about, Zach. Let's talk about today. Talking about uh, first up on the show, our Hollywood Minute. Then, of course, our video, or excuse me, our joke, joke of, of the, the day. day. That's Oh, that should be interesting. <laughs> then we go right into our video of the day. And, uh, of course, we've got to do the celebrity birthdays where you can keep up with your favorite stars and when they're having birthdays. You send them a card or something, yeah, right? I and, sure of course, do. today's guest on our show, we've got the Grand Strand Humane Society here with, as you heard earlier, our pet of the week. And we're also talking about a hoedown. Everybody is invited to that. And we've got IHOP here talking about a fundraiser they have going on. That's right. Plus a lot more. We're going to have a lot of fun. That's right. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Yeah. We're weeks away from seeing Taryn Edgerton play Elton John in Rocket Man. The pair performed a duet at Elton John's AIDS Foundation Academy Awards viewing party. Oh, Rocket Man 
Rocket Man launches into theaters May 31st. You know, I immerse myself completely within the world of Pokemon. I read about them, I live at his height, I tried to lose 182 pounds to match his weight until doctors intervened. Ryan Reynolds really gets into character in Becoming Pikachu. The method acting mini mockumentary promoting the movie Detective Pikachu features Reynolds and wife Blake Lively talking about the extremes he went to to play an animated character. Detective Pikachu hits theaters May 10th. I am Don Quixote de la Mancha. <laughs> And cut right there. Good work. Nearly 30 years since he began working on it, Terry Gilliam's The Man Who Killed Don Quixote will finally be released in theaters. Fathom Events will screen the movie in select theaters for one night only on April 10th. The movie premiered at the 2018 Cannes Film Festival. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Hi, my name is Keith. This is the joke of the day. Boo! What did the pirate say when he turned 80 years old? I'm 80. Boo! Who lets this guy in? <laughs> okay, I kind of like it. Joke of the day. I'll yeah, tell you that's that something a good else. One. All right, all right, we're going to talk about something else right now. The video of the day: the classic VW bus will forever be associated with the hippie movement. Now, if you were back that time, you remember in the 1960s, the distinctive micro buses were a favorite of free-spirited young people through the summer of love and the famous Woodstock Music Festival. Whoop, there's our pet of the day again. A couple in California recently built a replica of the iconic light bus associated with the festival. The artist who painted the original bus led a team to restore the art to the replica. And the couple says the bus is set to make an appearance at the 50th anniversary of the Woodstock Music Festival later this year. All right. All right. We always want to remind people, if yeah. you missed the show today yeah. and you'd like to catch it online, you all you got to go is WPDE.com and That's then right. click on. That's right. You click, click on Spotlight, Carolina and Company, and all the shows are right there for you to view. That's right. Just in case you miss us. Let's all right, talk about here we today. go. Today's Tuesday, February 26th, and this is Tell a Fairy Tale Day. That's also is also for Pete's sake day, which I think maybe I say a hundred times. <laughs> I know it. Birthday today, 1953, Michael Bolton. There he is. He's 66 years old. Grammy Award winning artist, specializes in love ballads. When a man loves a woman, he did a remake on that one and had eight top 10 albums. All right, 1986, Teresa Palmer, 33 years old, films The Choice, Lights Out, I Am Number Four, Bedtime Stories, and before fame, she wanted to work with an animal rescue. 1991, Max Lloyd-Jones, he's 28 years old, TV actor, switched at birth, one show, The Sandlot 2 and The Flicker. That's right. All right, now night, let's go back to the day in history. We've got to check this out. Chuck Berry received a Lifetime Achievement Grammy on this date back in 1985. All right, not too far along. 2013, the single Just Give Me a Reason by Pink, by Pink featuring Nate Russ was released. All right, from the Know It All department, Al, are you ready? Here we go. All right, back when New York City subway used tokens, people called token suckers would jam token slots, listen to this now, with paper, and suck out the tokens with their mouths. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm serious. Hold on, back up. What? They would suck out the tokens. They'd jam it, and then people put tokens in there. They'd come along and suck them out with their mouth, you know, to prevent paying. Uh, let's see, 27 people died from choking. No, I'm just kidding. The stop bet, here's what they did. The attendants would sprinkle chili powder into the slots, and that stopped a lot of them. Okay. Who in the world would suck a token out of that, a slot that that's everybody's a, touched? That's the strangest thing I think I I've don't ever know. heard. That's it from the Know-It-All department today. That's right. We'll be back. All right, whether you want to break up your daily routine with a fun travel adventure or plan a spring vacation with the family, there are a few things you should consider bringing along on your next trip. All right, here to tell us what you shouldn't leave home without is travel expert Michaela Guzzi, the creator and host of the show, Oh, the People You Meet. A healthy lifestyle on the road is just as important when you're home. Travel can wreak havoc on your skin. Keep hydrated with lots of water, avoid alcohol and caffeine, and pack 
lots of moisturizer. Hand cream is a must, but going the extra mile for my face and neck is mandatory. I never leave home without Neostrata's Tri-Therapy Serum and then layer on the Skin Active Collection's face, neck, and eye creams. They don't just hydrate, they're clinically proven to diminish lines and wrinkles and improve firmness too. You can find them at neostrata.com. Crossing time zones, borders, and continents can complicate things for your body and your mind. And let's face it, airports can be stressful, but a wellness-boosting CBD product can really help with aches and pains, boost your immune system, improve gut health, and even help you sleep. Receptra Naturals has an array of high-quality pure CBD extract drops, balms, and body butters I use to help stay relaxed, energized, and healthy when I travel. For more information, go to receptranaturals.com. Finally, traveling as a pet owner just got easier. Now your furry friend can enjoy human-grade nutrition delivered directly to your hotel or Airbnb within the continental U.S., or to your trusted pet sitter. Nom Nom Now crafts and delivers personalized fresh food for dogs and cats, perfectly portioned into single-serve meals based on your pet's caloric needs. Meals are made to order and formulated by a board-certified veterinary nutritionist. For more, go to nomnomnow.com. Check out my website, Oh The People You Meet, and find me on Instagram at Michaela Guzzi. Pack a bag and journey on with me. All right, coming up this weekend, we're talking about the Barnabas Horse Foundation, their big hoedown, and everyone is invited. That's right. It's a hoedown. That's it's right. A hoedown. So let's talk about the hoedown first, and then we'll talk about the, the uh, group and all what y'all do, okay? Okay. So the hoedown, tell us a about hoedown. the details. So the hoedown <laughs> is our biggest fundraiser of the year. It's um, barbecue from Little Pigs Barbecue and dinner, dancing, silent auction, and just a good time, a family friendly event. All right. so from like, six o'clock to nine o'clock. Looks like the weather's going to be pretty good for you guys yes. too, which is fantastic. Absolutely. All right. All right now, the Barnabas Horse Foundation. Tell tell us a little, a little bit about it, Jen. Um, it's a place where we provide equine assisted psychotherapy um, for persons suffering from trauma, um, women in crisis, abused children, um, and our veterans. Um, we facilitate um, with a therapist and a horse and a client. Now, who can come take part in something like that? Who needs it for it, you know? Uh, well, how, we're how, do they, yeah, how, yeah, they how do they do that? They come through their counselors and with their counselors. So we're partnered with the Rape Crisis Center, also the Family Justice Center. And a big shout out, we were just asked this morning if we would go to Philadelphia in August and speak to the National Sexual Assault convention about equine assisted therapy so we're like beyond oh excited that so that's huge uh, yeah it wow. is wow congratulations Thank congratulations you. when does that come up august 21st through the 23rd start preparing all right now talking yes. about march 2nd this weekend the uh hoedown is silent auction what all y'all gonna have what all's gonna be there um at the silent auction we got all sorts of great things um restaurant gift cards uh, we have a couple of two night stays from ocean lakes and oceana resorts um, Tiger Preserve. Tiger Preserve. Oh, that's really mm -hmm. Attraction tickets, uh, Wonderworks, so a lot of great things. Ghost to Tours down in Charleston. Mm -hmm. To, to so. get a ticket um, now, can you get a ticket at the door or do I need to go ahead and get a ticket now? We would prefer that you get a ticket now so that we have enough food on hand um, and you can do that through our website. There's your website right there online. You can yes. go check it out. .org. Awesome. Well, looks like big things coming for you guys, We're which excited. is fantastic. Thank you. Hope you have I a hope wonderful have a turnout. Thank hope you. Have you. A big one. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, girls. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being with uh, us. Pretty cool. All the way to Philadelphia. Yeah, that's Let's big go. time. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. We'll be back. All right, we're talking about a pancake fundraiser up in North Myrtle Beach at IHOP. And of course, it's for the Benefit McLeod's Children's Hospital over in Florence. That's right. And now this is an IHOP. Um, it, this is a na nationwide thing for IHOP to do, but there are some restaurants here in the area that are all going to be benefiting McLeod. Tell us a little bit about the whole event. The whole event is going to be March 12th from 7 in the morning till 7 in the evening. Okay. We are raising money for the Children's Miracle Network, which is a local uh, right. McLeod's hospital. So all of the money will go to McLeod Hospital. Okay. Fantastic. Now what percentage of that money? 
Absolutely. Every, every bit of it. Every, wow. yes, every dollar of it. That is wow. amazing. That's right. And now, I, like we said, all the IHOPs in the country are, are giving to various charities, but what are the ones here? Where, where can people go? To the different IHOPs, North Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, Florence, Lumberton, the right one right here on 501. All of the IHOPs are participating. Wow, everything from that day is going to and go to all the, cloud. the money. How, that, that is amazing taking a lot of money. Isn't that great? Wow. Love it. I know. Wow. Fantastic. So, what do people need to do other than just show up? Is that it? Well, they show up, they get a free short stack of pancakes, and we hope that they will donate to the Children's Miracle Network. Now, okay. short, that's not a short stack you're talking about, really. There's a lot of pancakes, man. I'm telling y'all, give out. Well, we're only going to give you three, Cecil. Three this time? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. All right. Just three. It'll Sometimes be all right. I'll do a lot more, though. Maybe we'll give you more. All right. So all right. if you show up. If people want to come out, you're up in North Myrtle Beach. Yes, ma'am. Right? Tell, tell us, how long have you been in North Myrtle Beach? I have been in North Myrtle Beach for 10 years. 10 years? So yep. You, you know what you're talking about with pancakes, Yes, right? I do. Where, I know what I'm talking about. Where are you from about. originally? I am originally from Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. You come to South Carolina, we appreciate it. All right. Everything. Now, this is going to start in two weeks on March 12th. Yes, sir. 7 a.m. in the morning. 7 a.m. in the morning. It will be crowded, so get there early. That's right. Yeah, so you're talking about all this money is going to go to McLeod's Children's Hospital. And That's I tell right. You, that is an amazing place up there, and, and what it they is. do for, for babies is just amazing, all the equipment and everything they have. We helped um, 56,000 children last year. From the Pancake Day? Well, we raised, I mean, as, as in the local area, yeah. we yeah. raised $4,000. Wow. Yep. That's fantastic. The system wide, we did four million. No, we're hoping to do four million this year, but throughout the whole event from two thousand and six we have done thirty million dollars. Thirty oh, million. Oh my goodness. Boy, I tell you, I hop. That's great. I hop. I hop. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, what's your favorite? I hop. Just plain ones? Strawberries, whipped cream. You know oh, what? Yes, Everybody needs to come out and try my Oreo goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my yes. goodness. Yes, in every dollar yes. that you guys purchase for the Oreo pancakes goes to the don to Children's Miracle Network. Awesome. Fantastic. That's again March twelfth, seven yep. AM, seven PM. All the IHOPs everywhere. You got it. Cool. Amy, thank you. Thanks thank for you. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. Hey, what's whoop, 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 whoop. Not, not yet. Go. Not okay. yet. All right. All right. We got more coming up. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. What happened? He's zooming in. He's zooming in. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had a, we've had a great time today. We appreciate everybody that watches our show. And if you'd like to be a part of our show, all you have to do is get in touch with us here. And if you've got a fundraiser coming up or if you're a business and you want to get on the show, we can work that out too. You know, it's completely worth it to come sit in studio and see the behind the scenes. I think everybody out that, yep. They're all saying, they're all saying, yes, we hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Again, catch us out at WPDE.com. Have a great afternoon. See you later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.